Hello, family and friends. Set my timer. It's the Okrum dances. And we are on our last haul. Yay! Then I can go to bed. So definitely need to sleep. This is the Goodwill haul. And it's only a few pieces, but it's still a nice haul. Okay, I'm going to move this back. So one piece at a time. I have been wanting one of these, and they had two, but I took this one because it had the red sacred heart, and uh, it's about six or seven inches tall. It's a nice piece. I like this, and I've wanted one of these for, you know... Uh, quite some time. I had found a wonderful one at a state sale today. Nice big one, but they want 150 bucks. It's like, no. One, I ain't paying that much. Two, I don't have that kind of money, especially for something like that. This is a planner. So I left one, and uh, I took this one, and it was uh, $2.99. So, and then there was 20% off. So I got that one. And then I picked up, I just loved this. Uh, is a candle holder. It's kind of like a wrought iron. And then it has that that dangles down in the center. And you know how I love the shit that dangles? And I think this I don't know what this she charged me for this. There was no price. <coughs> there was no price on it. Uh, let's see. I don't know. And I got it pure hat. Men's Pura, I think it's called a Pura. Actually, that came from the first garage sale. And that was 99 cents, but they already had their hat. I don't know how the hell this spread me 15 bucks. Because there was another piece I got that's separate. Was it 15 or? No, it couldn't have been. I'm thinking of something else. This wasn't that much, because this is only four, this is three. She couldn't have charged that much for that. I'll have to look at the receipt. It, may, it might have been nine bucks. Anyway, this is a rival little uh, crock pot, and it was originally three ninety nine. And then we got the employee discount, which made it... Um, then comes off 20% off of all of it. And what I like about this little one is this pot comes out. And there was a specific reason I wanted a teeny, teeny, tiny crock pot. And for the life of me, I can't remember why. But I got it because I know I'll remember sometime. And be like, ah, oh, that's why I needed it. So at any rate... Oh, I've got to move this. I still got stuff I've got to move. I have something else to show you. Oh. This puppy is not light. <sighs> Has got to back in and got this. <sighs> oh, I gotta get it up here. I'll knock you guys over, but this baby is 
up and heavy. And I don't have it up here yet. I have been working one of these for quite some time. And then with the 20% off, you can tell hard case. Oh, I'm sure you guys know what this is. And the stupid thing had to fall off the bottom of the cart. <sighs> I'm sure it's fine, though. So it didn't take a very big plunge in the case of spine. $39.99. 20% off. So, two, four, six. I don't know. About seven or eight bucks off. It was about 32 bucks. And then tax. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I just kept waiting for the right price. I don't do a lot of this, but sometimes it's nice to have, to have and I've got that fabric that I need to make into a curtain and some other things. Er, I gotta slide this down. Hang on. <laughs> I can't get the other part unsnapped, and this is like major heavy. For me, it is. Uh, okay. There we go. Ooh, not good. That was probably because it tumbled. Uh, not good at all. What happened? Uh, uh, great. Okay, let me grab the shit that fell on the floor. I didn't hear roaming around in here. Ugh. Okay. It's live video, guys. That's the way it is. Oh. Okay. Once again, they have it marked on the sewing machine. Finally, finally, finally. I think it's a nice one. Uh, yeah, this little basket -y thing must have popped open when it slid off the bottom. And I'm used to know how to sew very good and this must be another plate and I'm going to have to relearn some of this and I hope to God I can figure out where this went I'm thinking all this shit was just in this little case all this stuff I think was just in here and it all just failed to loose. So it came with all that mess. <sighs> and it's a universal. I don't know if that's like straighten me up. That's the greatest brand of sewing machine. Has a bunch of different doobinky patterns and stuff like that. And I have not sewn on a sewing machine. With the exception of a pedal, which is one I learned on. Okay, no one here? Yes, I'm that old. So, uh, it had forward and reverse. It does come with a manual. And then, oh, there's some scissors in there. And... There's a tape measure and some, oh jeez, I don't know how I haven't really looked at it. looks like there's some thread and here's the plug it all in. One's a little bent, I'll have to unbend that. Think ones. I don't know why it has two damn plugs. Uh, 
I'm kind of wondering there's no foot pedal. Now, I'm always used to having a friggin' foot pedal. So, I am not sure maybe how you get this thing to go. I must do something with over here, I guess. If anybody has any ideals or is used to a machine like this. Because, yeah, I thought there'd be a... Unless it's underneath here. I thought there'd be a flipping foot pedal. Because, uh, let me move this. Oh, there's some more thread. Oh, this is actually the thread that's on here. And we're going to keep it on here. Okay. Uh, I mean, I have a pretty good idea how to use this. I think I have forgotten. I'll have to figure out how to get that back on there. My curiosity is yeah, let me set this on there. I want to see what's underneath here. Because I think this is probably a zipper foot that's stuck in here. Maybe. Does it look like a buttonholer? But I'm wondering. Uh, it might have. Let me go over here so you can see. I'm trying to friggin' do here. I wonder if the foot pedals. Underneath there. And it's not. So, either I'm screwed, or I don't know how to use this. Turn that back so it holds it. Um, I have never seen a saw machine without a foot pedal. So this is something new. So if any of you guys know, I'm sure if I play with it enough, I'll figure it out. But, uh... Maybe it's something you push and it goes. I don't friggin' know. I know there's a thing over here. These are probably adjustments. These are probably adjustments. And this is what stitch you want. Well, I'm used to a foot pedal to get you going. So I'm not quite sure how to get going. It must be maybe you get this going. And then it just goes. I... Shit, I don't know. How do you stop it? With your hand or what? If anybody knows about this, please comment on this video because I was expecting to see a foot pedal and there is no foot pedal. So either, either, either I've got a problem or it's some newfangled way that. <laughs> My old ass don't know how to use this machine. Because I'm used to having foot pedal. You press on a foot pedal and get it going. Lost your foot off to get it to stop. I need to know how to get it going and stop. Of course, there's a manual. Maybe that'll teach me how to help. So at any rate, I'm sure. Because um, there's no connection. And I don't know why there's two plugs. That makes no sense. I've never seen a sewing machine with two plugs either. So, evidently it doesn't have a button holder, but you would think if it would do a, uh, well, this lid doesn't fit good at all. If you think it would have a zipper foot, what well, looks to be a zipper foot, that it would uh, yeah you would think the damn thing would have a foot pedal but I'll have to look at the book in fact I'm going to leave the book out so I can look it over and try and figure out there's got to be a, a way because there obviously is no foot pedal 
So at any rate, oh, I tell you, this thing weighs a ton. I hope it works well. And I hope that for some reason this one doesn't need a foot pedal. Because I have never seen anything like this before. Okay, guys. So, anyway, that's my good girl haul. And I'm going to put my book, my manual, and look at it tomorrow because I'm way too tired to try and read tonight. And I'm sure it's probably perfectly fine. I am just a little bit... Um, I have never seen a machine without a foot pedal, and I'm used to a pedal machine. An actual... You take your foot and you pedal, 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 and you got reverse and back, and that's it. You know, or forward and backwards. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, completely seeing the foot pedal is kind of throwing me for a loop. All right. We will talk to you guys later. Leave me comments if you know how to start and stop this. Later.